Greetings from Goblin Valley, Nisedal, Norway. I'm here, so you don't have to be. I can't tell you how cool it is to be sitting in my own orchard. And uh, yeah, apples are coming along nicely and plums and well, the cherries have ripened and uh, we had a ton of it. Really, really awesome. Um, today we are here to talk about Smokestack Mods PVM 12.6 Volt Regulated Mod. And this time I went the whole hog and uh, got myself some custom engravings on both sides. And um, yeah, you know, I had this um, uh, unregulated 12.6 volt uh, before from them. And now I wanted uh, the PVM version. So let's get to a close up and uh, take it from there. The box came in this envelope that I opened very, very carefully. <laughs> and it came wrapped in this bubble plastic. There was a couple of cards, a certificate of authenticity, and um, smokestack mods, Joshua Ketterman, it's a man pa shop. Um, yeah. Uh, wave responsibly. Yeah, you can freeze frame all this. It also came with a um, set of instructions. Reverse polarity protection, uh, the lock mode. Uh, timeout, uh, regulated mode. It doesn't say how you get in and out of regulated mode. Uh, the battery gauge, um, the series of blinks uh, due to how many percentage you have left of your battery. And there is a, a low battery warning, low voltage cutoff. You can freeze frame and hopefully you will be able to read this information but the thing is uh, it's really not much use because the lock mode um, it's the, it should be the other way around you push the fire switch four times and then it blinks three times so that's how you lock it and unlock it uh, this seems uh, to be accurate at least, but it does not say how you get in and out of regulated mode. But it comes set in regulated mode. If you put you in your batteries wrong, it will auto fire. And when the battery is low, uh, it will blink very rapidly uh, when you let the fire switch go. You, you will notice that if you're not outdoors. The people of uh, Smokestack Mods were just fantastic to work with, with uh, regarding the design. They made fonts uh, that uh, re resembles the no Norse rune alphabet that uh, the, the people before Christian time used. And these uh, Celtic Norse patterns are inspired from, from actual uh, time period uh, stuff. And I, I just wrote, I want vaping with Owen on the lid. And uh, the people at Smokestack Mods came up with this design. And that's just awesome. On the other side, uh, there is this um, Bronze Age warrior. This is a stone carving found uh, on the border between Norway and Sweden. Um, that's uh, about 2,500 to 3,800 years old. There is a museum for these drawings, actually. And this is, of course, a warrior from that time period. With his big axe and big sword and big, yeah, 
<laughs> you know. I mean, he was a warrior. He was a hero in his in his uh, community. And I bet the girls just laid flat before him. Well, they should. <laughs> so I just wanted him on on the other side. Uh, and <laughs> There you also had the smokestack, uh, smokestack mods logo. They they had logo placed uh, somewhere else, but I made them move it up. So I think this is nicer. It's like a big moon over this crazy berserker. There's really not much going on on the inside, but I'll explain a few things. The battery sled is 3D printed and obviously of high quality. The PVM smartboard is in this. Um, uh, red uh, uh, shrink uh, tube and there seems to be a layer of plastic on the bottom uh, keeping the circuitry uh, from not shorting out on the box itself and on the inside of the lid uh, there is a greeting as always be safe and wipe on and there is a sort of rubberized uh, paint coat or something, uh, or, or just a panel, uh, maybe it's a panel, nylon panel or something that's put in here. The uh, lid on these Hammond boxes, I think is, uh, it's uh, is it a G box or a 1590B box, uh, I, 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 don't, I really don't remember uh, that specification. Um, but it's big, <laughs> fair to say. Um, uh, Hammond boxes are meant to be screwed in place. You know, these boxes are meant to be stumped on by really angry death metal guitarists. Um, so when you get this lid, it uh, moves around actually quite a bit. So I use some engine uh, tape or you know the heat resistant tape that you put around hoses in the engine room of cars and boats and I had added one strip here and one strip on the other side and now the lid is really stuck in place you have to wiggle it a little bit up and down now it's just stuck the um, lamp that was the battery check that is firing and four clicks should lock it yes and four clicks open it um, I have uh, not figured out how to go in and out of regulated unregulated mode Let's see how I succeed in that uh, later on. The uh, soldering points makes me a tiny bit envious. <laughs> I wish I wish I was this good at um, at soldering stuff. But uh, there's a reason um, Ketterman and company has a business and I haven't. <laughs> yeah. This is really, really good components. And here you have the uh, pot uh, meter that regulates the output. On uh, PVM uh, boards, um, this really does not regulate the volt. Uh, okay, it re regulates the, uh, what can you say, the output of energy over time. Uh, that I think that's the most accurate way to describe what this uh, this uh, pot uh, meter does, and it goes from zero to a hundred. The uh, batteries are my daughter's design, and the battery chamber is very nicely marked with uh, positives and uh, negatives. And the springs and everything is really, really solid. I have a review out there uh, with the 12.6 uh, volt unregulated smokestack mods. Uh, I made a video of it uh, pretty early. And 
you can see that it's probably due to the uh, little uh, light but the buttons are of different sizes but you can also see on top i criticized them not placing the uh, 510 uh, on the perfect spot they've done it this time <laughs> so that has become uh, better and yes it's a hammond uh, 1590b box the build i have in the satog is a uh, let's see if we can get that into focus yeah the build is a parallel 28 gauge dual coil setup at 0 0.64 ohm, ohm if i remember correctly um, uh, when when we, we get up to this uh, size of coils uh, flat wires are just flimsy too flimsy and there is no room for them so you can what you can do is to hammer the wire a bit flat in the center and use it combined flat wire and, and single wire that will get your ohms up for, for this kind of monster mod. But uh, this time I just did the uh, did, uh, 28 gauge uh, cancel in parallel. I think it's 12 wraps on each coil. My neighbor is building himself a uh, new living room table using a chainsaw. So if there are any noises from next door, you'll probably... Uh, now you know why. Let's say, uh, let's see. Um, pros and cons. I usually don't divide them, but uh, this time I think we should. The, the shipment time was three weeks, three, four weeks. That's production and shipment. And I, I can wait, there, there is really no problem, but it takes time. So uh, when you do your own this, uh, design or want something special on it, it takes a bit more time. But the dialogue with, uh, with, uh, with the people at Smokestack Mods was absolutely brilliant. So there is that. Um, I think the lids, uh, the lid should have been adjusted before they sent it out. You know that the lid does not fit. It's 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 the Hammond box. It's meant to be screwed down, not used with magnets. But uh, having adjusted it with two strips of, of um, um, engine tape, uh, they could have done that or used something even better than I have li lying around. But now it works fantastic. But the lid should have been. Uh, <coughs> uh, made fit better the um, uh, there was just a tiny tiny little nook on, on the si side but it's just a speck where the the, the coating has not adhered but uh, uh, you really don't notice it the last con i have against this is that i put such a big logo on the cover um, i had them uh, reduce it a little bit and move it up uh, so it looks more like a moon, <laughs> uh, but uh, ideally uh, it should have been put on uh, th this side or that side so it wouldn't uh, interfere with the pictogram of your choosing or the, the image you want to, to, to have on, on the box. So uh, those, are, those are the cons and yeah, oh, there's one more. I have not learned how to change it from regulated to unregulated mode. Um, I have read that on some smart PVMs you should um, uh, shut it off and hold the switch for three and a half seconds. Uh, that does not work. So if any of you have any idea how I can change between regulated and unregulated on this one, please tell, tell so. Being a reviewer and not figuring that out, I feel like an idiot. Yeah, not for the first time, by the way. So the pros, uh, it's absolutely fantastic in use. It's extremely responsive. And the thing it's supposed to do well, it does really, really well. When you have it in regulated mode, it comes in regulated mode. 
um, there is um, there is no difference when you when you use it when the batteries get low. And now, uh, oh, I just turned it off. Uh, I push two times and the batteries are at about 60 to, to 80 percent. I think that was in the manual. Uh, when, when, when you use this, I like to put it at 50 with my 0 0.64 uh, ohm build. Um, you don't notice that the batteries are weak, ever. Uh, when you get the rapid blinks, telling you uh, when you let the button go, uh, that the batteries are low. They are down to 3.28 to 3.33 volts, about, about this. And, and they are, uh, uh, but the hit, you don't notice. You can still go on whipping this and it still gives you your setting. Um, of course, if I had cranked this up to 200, I would have noticed the difference, of course. But, but if, you, if you play within the rules, so to speak, it doesn't get low until you have more or less ruined your batteries. And the pot meter, I don't know if it's called a pot meter even. I mean, it does not regulate the volts, actually. But the combined output effect over time or something like that. So at 25... fifteen, seventy-five. That was not pleasant. So, uh, so the voltmeter, uh, the the pot meter is really, really responsive, and everything works as it should. I have even dropped it. I had a six pack of beer last night while watching uh, the Wire season three, and at the point I got very enthusiastic, or just tiny bit drunk and it tipped over from the table and landed on the hard wooden floor and no harm came to it. So it holds up, it, it takes a punch. And well for the Zatog this is a perfect match because the Zatog has no problems taking these kind, uh, kind of high watt situ situations. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, from the feeling of it, I think this is about 180 watts or something with regular round wire coils in parallel, 28 gauge. Uh, compared to um, the 12 volt unregulated I much 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 prefer the PVM board so if you uh, have to choose uh, between one of these go for the PVM uh, it's just more versatile and convenient and of all my convenient boxes as I call them this is the best one the one that comes close is the Zurich X that is also a PVM uh, box. Um, you, can, you can hear the PVM in action. If I take the lid off and hold it close to the microphone, you can hear this humming just before it fires. And that's the PVM in action. And you have the same, um, the, the Zurich X Volt uh, does the same thing. And, and that is also one of my favorites. You, you have seen me use uh, it testing a ton of RDAs. For the bigger RDAs, I now have this one. And this is for advanced users, not beginners. 
but if you like big RDAs, I can't think of any box mod that fits this big RDA better than the Smokestack Mod's 12.6 volt PVM box. See you soon.